morning, Betty. I'm going to bring Mr. Tarico in, obviously a man who wears a lot of hats in this country. And I want to start by asking you about the investment climate, because as my colleague was just saying, uh, Morgan Stanley just said that among the emerging markets, Russia is the place to put your money. What do you think about that? You know, like a weather, everything changed dramatically. Maybe you remember last last year, it was raining like hell. It was exactly corresponding to the mood that we were having last year here in Russia. So everything changed dramatically for much better uh, yeah. in just a pretty short period of time. And what is it that changed that it makes it such an attractive place to invest money now? I believe the market became uh, much more stable. You know, oil price went up, which we very much depend on. Uh, all other like uh, consumer demand stabilized too. If before consumer was in panic, today he's buying again, going to supermarket, making investments and so. You're the largest issuer of credit cards in the country. Right. You have a pretty unique insight into the Russian consumer. What are you seeing with them? Particularly if you take again at the beginning of last year, uh, people was not spending at all and uh, all the consumer uh, product producers they were, didn't know really what to do, both Russians and foreigners. And surprise, surprise, starting from August, uh, he started to spend again. Are you <laughs> so, bad debt? So you're seeing a lot of that? But that's actually a consumer market uh, and consumer debt was much better than corporate one. So it's opposite to United States, where United States consumer behave pretty badly and corporations behave well. Russia is the totally opposite. So consumer were continuing to pay all the debt and uh, continue to make money. Where should the investor put their money in Russia? So I'm obviously a big fan of consumer market. This is my <laughs> <laughs> suggestion to everybody. But it's real because I believe consumer market is uh, very stable, growing very, uh, very quickly. So this is my suggestion. Let me ask you about your vodka, Russian Standard. Obviously, you're the biggest player in the premium end of the market here. Sales in this country of your vodka up from last year at this point? Yeah, it's about 30 to 40 percent up from last year. Then in the, Russian sales? In Russian sales, yes. It's about 15 to 20 percent down from 2007, 2008, but you remember it was economic boom in my country. Yeah, and internationally, I mean, I know you're expanding into move, uh, new markets. Total sales, what are you seeing there, and what markets are you moving into? United States for my best priority, for sure, uh, and we're doing very well there. We're 50 percent up there. United Kingdom, we are about 50 to 70 percent up. Germany, 25 percent up. Uh, Australia maybe 100 percent up so my top priority probably United States Canada Australia New Zealand and Germany we probably only got another 30 seconds but for the last four years you've been telling me it's better in Russia to build your business than to buy and yet you're looking at buying perhaps a Ukrainian vodka called Nimero tell me about that in the middle segment, it's much faster to, uh, to buy things that rather than to build. It's a very competitive segment. So this is, was my decision. Rather than, rather than buying, just uh, rather than investing and growing, just buy the already brand. All right, Rustam Tariko, thank you very much.